This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favourite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. I wanted to do a video about this uh, new amp in here. So you probably are aware of the, where are you? Come, the PV5150 is in the Helix under the PV Panama name. And I'm just gonna set up a, a quick kind of cab thing with the new cabs. And we'll go for Cali V30. Um, so just, one of the things that people sometimes didn't seem to like about this was that it was a little bit on the raspy, loose kind of side. We now have Misha Mansour's amp in here as well. Uh, so if we go here, guitar, and I think this could make a lot of folks that are going for that more modern metal sound quite happy. Uh, if we assign these here. The PV Vitrio is based on the Misha Mansour PV Invective, which is sort of a, a bit of a take on a 5150 as far as I'm aware. I'll take a look at the manual and dig into this a bit more, but it seems to me to be a bit tighter.
just a big huge sand so it might be the case that a few folks end up retiring that uh, PV Panama I think um, because this one can do All of that stuff and probably a little bit more. Um... So obviously I'm not a metal player, as you'll be well aware, but I thought this one could get some really cool tones. I think also this could be an ideal kind of lead amp. So what I might do for some more lead tones would be to take this off of axis a little bit and maybe let's just experiment with some delay because delay is the sound of the police um, right let's bring this down I don't know that in, in lead playing that reverb has too much of a role in uh, sort of modern metal-y styles or maybe even modern lead styles at all um, certainly not chorus but uh, this sort of thing I'm hoping might end up sounding quite good <laughs> And paired with the new cabs, I think that is quite an important part of these new sounds because they do have a bit of a different bass response and also there's a little bit more clarity in them and uh, I've also found obviously it's going to be the case that there are tones that you can get with these kind of different mic placements that were just not really possible and also I don't think that, so the old stock cabs were shot directly over the cone I don't think that's normally what folks tend to go for when they are miking cabs particularly in the metal or rock style so i think for a bunch of the audience out there that are more metal focused players i think these irs are or these cabs are, are much more likely to to be to your taste than the old stock cabs were <laughs> Um, as you turn up the gain, if it's anything like sort of rectifiers and stuff, you tend to get a bit looser. And also this resonance control or depth in this case is going to give us kind of more of that sort of 80 to 150 hertz rumbly stuff. If you're looking for kind of tighter tones and faster riffage then that depth control might even be more important than the, the um, bass control and if you're wanting sludgier kind of tones or if it's like lead tones you can get really thick. Uh, 
Let me just crack open the manual and see if there's any gems waiting inside. So we've got an explanation here of the resonance and presence, uh, so depth and presence here, allows for adjustment of the damping factor of the power amplifier. Damping is the ability of an amplifier to control speaker cone motion after the signal disappears. A higher damping factor reduces cone vibration more quickly than a lower damping factor in the affected frequency range. The actual damping factor of the amplifier decreases as the knobs are turned up. Presence works on the low end and presence exclusively affects the high end response of the amp. The controls are passive, low, mid and high. Pre-gain is a volume thing into the actual kind of thing, but affects gain, obviously. So this is into the tone stack, and then post gain, I think is after. Not much else of any note in the manual, but um, yeah, I don't know, that's, that's where I might start with this. If you're really into the heavier kind of tones, then I think you'll probably already know about this, but the horizon drive is, again, based on uh, Matey Boy's signature pedal, right? 